my name is Tyler and today we're working with the Roland SP300i. We're going to go through the function menu which should have everything you need to run your printer efficiently. So we'll go ahead and look at that now. To get to the function menu you're just going to press the function button here. The first option is base point. This is if you printed and didn't use the full width. So say you printed a job that was only 12 inches and you wanted to print a second job with the remaining 18 inches. You could set your base point at that first 12 inches and then print with the remaining you have left. The important thing to remember here is you do need to roll the media back so that you can print at the exact same starting point as before. The next one is cleaning. This is just your everyday daily cleaning. There's a few options in here. There's test print, then there's normal cleaning, medium cleaning, and powerful cleaning. Medium and powerful cleaning are just a stronger version of a normal cleaning. And then test print is something we can go over in a different video. This is just gonna be making sure that your printer is working properly. The next option is sheet cut. This is just gonna cut your media from left to right. So if you're done with the job, you can run sheet cut and then you can take it over to the table and begin weeding it. The next one is heater configuration. This you don't need to change as the software manages it, but if you were having issues with the media not sliding through properly or it buckling, you could come in here and change, change it manually. The last option is cut configuration. We'll go over all of this in another video, but just a brief overview. There's test cut, which is gonna cut out a sample to see if it can be weeded properly. Force, which is gonna measure how much force you put down, and then speed. The important thing with speed is if you do change the speed, you also need to change the up speed so that the left and right and up and down match. Otherwise you're gonna have issues. Offset is not something you need to mess with as it just depends on which blade you're using. So you should never need to change that. But that's all the options in cut configuration and that's all the options in the function menu. Those are all the options in the function menu. I hope you'll use some of those to get the most out of your printer. Everything that you need to run the printer is in that menu, so you don't have to go looking for it anywhere else. So I hope this was helpful. If this was helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. Let us know in the comments below what you'd like to see next. If you like anything you saw in this video, you can check it out at wensco.com. But thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you in the next video.